Hey guys, I'm Nikki Sizemore. Welcome to my kitchen and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. <laughs> I am so excited because today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite baked goods of all time. We are making my healthy carrot cake recipe and you're not going to believe that it has no sugar. So carrot cake is hands down my favorite cake. But you wanna know what? Carrot cake can be a pain in the you know what to make. You gotta shred the carrots, multiple mixing bowls, multiple steps, and for years it ended up that I'd only make carrot cake like once a year, if that, until I developed this recipe. This is gonna blow your mind. This carrot cake batter gets made right in a Vitamix blender or a food processor. There is no shredding of carrots, no mixing bowls required. It's quick and it's easy and the result is an ultra moist cake with a classic carrot cake flavor, but it is sweetened with just a touch of maple syrup. We're going to take the cake over the top, of course, with a maple cream cheese frosting because we all know the frosting is the best part. This healthy carrot cake is not only an amazing dessert, but it's also an awesome snack or even breakfast. Yes, I give you full permission to eat this for breakfast. I can't wait to show you how it's made, so let's head to the kitchen. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my wholesome, family-friendly, and naturally gluten-free recipes. If you click that little notification bell, you'll be notified every time I post a new video. We are going to start by preparing our pan. So I have an eight-inch cake pan. I'm going to spray that with cooking spray, or you could rub it with oil or butter. Line it with parchment paper and spray it again. The parchment is going to make it easier to pull the cake out later. Now, I've got some raisins here. I'm just going to cover them with hot water and let them sit to plump up while we make the rest of the batter. So you'll need three medium carrots for this recipe. Give them a coarse chop. <laughs> we don't have to shred them and plop them right into a Vitamix or food processor. Blend the carrots, stirring with the tamper while increasing the speed until they are finely chopped. If you're using a food processor, just pulse until the carrots are finely chopped. Stop and scrape down the sides, and then pulse again just to make sure that all of those carrot pieces are evenly chopped. This looks great, so transfer the carrots to a bowl. You want to scrape out as many carrots as you can, but don't worry if there are still some carrot pieces in the blender or food processor. We don't even have to wash it. Next, we're going to add our wet ingredients. So I have two eggs, maple syrup, applesauce. The applesauce is going to allow us to cut back on the oil and it's going to add moisture. Milk, melted coconut oil, ground cinnamon, ground ginger, cardamom, nutmeg, fine sea salt, and a splash of vanilla. Now just pop the lid back on and we'll blend until smooth. Beautiful, now for the dry ingredients. We have almond flour, dried unsweetened coconut, and baking powder. Pulse just until everything is evenly incorporated. All right guys, we're almost done. Now drain those raisins and then add them right to the batter along with the chopped carrots, and some chopped walnuts. You could also use pecans or you can omit the nuts altogether, although I love how they provide some crunch. Process again while stirring just until everything is mixed together. You do not want to over blend or over process at this point because we wanna keep some of that texture in the cake. Use a rubber spatula just to scrape the sides and give the batter one more stir, and now it is ready to bake. So let's scrape it into our prepared baking pan spread the top in an even layer. I find that a little mini offset spatula works great for this, but you could use a spoon. Then bake the cake in a 350 degree oven until golden and firm. It'll take about 45 minutes. At this point, your kitchen is going to smell amazing. Now let the cake cool in the pan for 10 minutes. And now let's remove it from the pan. Just run a small knife along the edges and use those parchment handles to pull it right out. You can always serve the cake right in the pan if you want to skip this step. While the cake cools, let's make the frosting. I have eight ounces of softened cream cheese. Beat that until smooth. And now we're adding the maple syrup. Now this is the trick. You want to add the maple syrup very, very slowly beating it in as you go, and then stop and scrape the sides as needed. This way, you'll end up with a super smooth, creamy frosting without any lumps. This is a two ingredient frosting, you guys, and oh my gosh, <laughs> I could swim in it. And now for the fun part. We are going to scrape that maple cream cheese frosting 
over the top of the cake and spread it in an even layer. Oh man, is your mouth watering yet? My mouth is watering. <laughs> now you can serve this just as it is. I like to garnish the top with some chopped walnuts, again, just for a little bit more crunch. And there you have it, my friends, a healthy, naturally sweetened carrot cake made with no sugar, but I promise you, you will not miss it. If your kitchen is warm, refrigerate the cake for 15 to 30 minutes before slicing to help that frosting set up. I didn't have the patience to do that, which is why the frosting is a little soft here, but oh man, this is actually how I love it. Serve the cake in squares as an awesome dessert, or a perfect snack cake, or even breakfast cake. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that you like this healthy carrot cake recipe. Can you believe it has no sugar and it's gluten-free? I've included a link below to the full recipe and I've also included a link to my website where you can find a ton of other wholesome gluten-free desserts and baked goods. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.